Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about principle of pH meter. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So pH meter is used to measure the pH of a solution. In other words, pH meter measures how acidic or basic the solution is. A solution that has pH less than 7 is considered as acidic, whereas a solution that has pH more than 7 is considered as basic. An acidic solution has high concentration of hydrogen ions, whereas a basic solution has low concentration of hydrogen ions. pH meter measures concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution and determines the pH of the given solution. So, this is the pH meter that we all have seen in our laboratory. So, I am zooming this part here. So, it is a rod-like structure called probe. In this probe, two electrodes are placed. Glass electrode and reference electrode. I am showing glass electrode here and reference electrode here for the sake of your easy understanding. Although nowadays we all use combined type of pH meter where both electrodes are placed together in the probe like this. Previously people used separate electrodes. So let's focus on combined type pH meter. Glass electrode is a AgCl covered silverware. This one. This electrode is dipped in an internal solution or electrolyte. It is basically a buffer solution of potassium chloride which has pH 7. That means it is neutral. Reference electrode is also a AgCl covered silverware and it is also dipped in neutral buffer solution of KCl of pH 7. A filling hole is present in the probe which is used for refilling this electrolyte or internal buffer solution. A junction made up of a porous ceramic membrane it is present in this probe. A voltmeter is attached with the probe. The bottom of the probe is like a bulb-like structure. Which is specially designed that only allows positively charged ions to interact with the glass. When the probe is dipped in the test solution, this is the test solution, the H plus ions move close to the glass bulb that is in the external side of the bulb like this. Similar reaction occurs inside the bulb which is filled with buffer solution of neutral pH. 
this neutral buffer solution has constant number of positively charged ions that is K plus. Here, these positively charged ions or K plus present inside the bulb also move close to the glass membrane that is internal side of the bulb. Like this. Therefore, hydrogen ions in the test solution exchange for other positively charged ions in this case that is K plus on the glass bulb. So the exchange takes place between H plus and K plus ions. Therefore, the neutral buffer solution of the glass electrode becomes positively charged. Like this. Now let's come to the reference electrode. So reference electrode is placed just to complete the circuit. The reference electrode comes into contact with the test solution through a porous ceramic membrane that is this junction. This junction allows very few ignorable amount of ion exchange. Therefore, the buffer solution of reference electrode does not change its pH and remains neutral as it is. It creates a difference in electrical potential that is called voltage between a glass electrode and reference electrode. As this difference in electrical potential occurs, electrons start to move from negative terminal to positive terminal that is from reference electrode to glass electrode. So electrons start flow from reference electrode to glass electrode that is called current. According to Ohm's law, current is directly proportional to the voltage. Voltmeter measures that voltage and displays voltage in units of pH. The magnitude of the voltage is linearly related to pH according to Nernst equation. So by following Nernst equation, voltage is converted into pH that we can 